What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Chaos Draft here on MagicTheGathering.uk.net. Uh, I'm actually going away on uh, a little trip from Wednesday to the following Tuesday. So if you guys don't see me, that's going to be why. So hopefully you guys will still be... Uh, You'll still be there when I get back. I, our, our subs were at 382 this morning when I started. We are now at 370. And I assume when I get back, it'll probably be closer to... 280. <laughs> that's what you get when you don't stream for five days. That's that's how that works. Uh, I do like Mana Leak. I also like Chandra's Phoenix. So... <clears throat> I think it's Mana Leak. I have no idea, China, I have no idea what this post means. What's up? Hope the, sn the Snack Shack is treating you well. Let's play some EDH this week. Hit me up. Love you. I have no idea what any of that means. I don't even know if it's directed to me. <clears throat> I would take Mana Leak over Spooter. Two fours are not going to be difficult to find in, uh, in these packs, I would imagine. Oh, God. Just steer me clear of Kamigawa cards. I might just take this Hinder. We already got a good counter spell. Destroy target land or non-black creature for four. That's actually pretty good as well. Let's do a non-blue step. Well, unfortunately, we already have a Mana Lake. So it looks like that uh, it has, has not been a thing. <clears throat> Is Befal just staying on blue for Hinder, though? Probably not. I'm just going to take the Hinder. It counters anything, guys. So does Rewind. Oh, man, we could just have the mono counter spells dot deck over here. It's directed at my little brother. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. Oh, Dillman, what's up? Hope you enjoy these videos at the Snack Shack. Just take Mana Leak out? Oh, Sarah, now I gotta take the Hinder out too, and I'll probably have to take this Rewind out. <clears throat> Sarah, it's not looking good for you, buddy. No counters, no cry. Alright, now we gotta branch out a little bit. Got two bar the doors in case you want your creatures to get plus O plus four until end of turn more than once. I don't hate Pyre Heart Wolf. I wish the flashback on this was... Actually, 3 damage to an attacker or blocker kills a lot of things. And if we do get to flash it back, that's just pretty good. I'm just going to take this. Even if you don't flash it back, it's still just like... It's like a Gideon's Reproach, right? Have you done a stipulation where you can't have more than 4 cards for each CMC? No, I've never actually done that. I don't think I've ever done that. That seems like a good one, though. However, how many cards is that? Like, you'd have <clears throat> four two drops, four three drops, four four drops, and four five drops would be those common, so that's 16. And then you have to fill it out with, like, higher costs. <clears throat> Ooh, Glacial Ray. Esper Zoa. Hmm... Hammerheim Dead Eye could just be good, right? I mean, you cast it for four to kill a guy. You get a blocker for a turn and then it dies. Or we could just take Glacial Ray, which is pretty good. Was it ever looking good for No Blue? Hmm. Not really. Not really. I'm going to take the Glacial Ray. I hate the Kaladish packs because they're so energy dependent, but then like you don't have ways to get energy. Creatures not flying can't blend out, that's not very good. 33 with Improvise. I don't have other artifacts. Shipwreck Moray, we'll just use the four mana that he has. Yeah, that's actually probably fine. It's not great, but <clears throat> it's whatever. Oh, uh, Mike is just fine. Mike is just fine.
Oh, floating down the river on an air tube. That's where you want to be. That's a good. That's a good time. It's just conclave equinot, equinot, equinot. That's nah, it's not an easy word to say. I mean, it's a three-three flyer. It's pretty good. You can convoke if you'd like. Bottle of scotch is still half full. Left untouched since our since our excursion. <clears throat> I like blue white and then just splashing for these two. That's possible. But I mean like it depends on what we get, right? Like this card's pretty good. I'm actually surprised no one picked this yet. This guy's great. <laughs> we can give it flight. <clears throat> Make that dude float. Destroy land. Target creatures can't block. Fire breathing. I mean, we're probably not playing flight, but... This guy's a 3-3 three, three on attack. That's not terrible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> no woman, no cry. Dark creature against haste. That's absolute garbage. <clears throat> Soul of Magma 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you cast a spirit or arcane spell, it deals one damage to our creature. That's pretty bad. This is an arcane spell. You can splice this onto this. Not ideal. That's terrible. <clears throat> Girl Warchan is pretty busted. Lone Missionary could be good if we're just a control deck. <clears throat> Yikes. Alright, well. Kind of split down the middle here. Yeah, that guy's good. This guy's good, but like... We don't have... We have one artifact and it costs six, so I'm not really super... <laughs> Oh, Lana, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'll take this dude. I'll take this irrelevant dude. Plus two, plus two for each equipment, huh? Yeah, that's a valid strategy. Tap a target. Tap a dude. I'm okay with it. One happy buck. Oh my god, that cat is so loud. Can you guys hear him? You have to be able to hear them. Him, not them. There's only one. Skyhound Patrol, also pretty good, but I think we just want to be... Oh, Tapping Target Artifact? Yeah, we're not taking that. My bad. <clears throat> I'll just take Skyhound Patrol. Firemind's Foresight, huh? Well, that's not very good. I was hoping this would be a niv and then, uh... And then... It would have been good. Search Cyber for an instant, or... With cost three, and then repeat it for a cost two and one. So, what do we have here? We could literally go, uh... Hinder, Mana Leak, and then no one drop, I guess, because we don't have Ancestral Recall in our deck. Could just take Azorius Guildgate, too. Also, Tristani's Judgment is nice. Street Spasm is pretty good, but... I almost like the Azorius Guildgate just because it's fixing for our deck, and that's mm, seems pretty. Like I don't care about Rusted Wolves. These are the only two I really care about <clears throat> if we're splashing. Plus, so it looks like we're more white. I think I'm actually just gonna take the signet or the 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 fixing land. 
I don't I don't love it, but oh blast fire bolt, that's pretty good. Mm, not bad. So one three makes a one one, two two. Yeah, it's gotta be blast fire bolt, right? I think this is a Healy combo out in the living room. Encased in ice. Ooh, well, unfortunately, it's only red and green creatures. Um, we got Mist of Karen. You got that Megamorph as a 3 2 floater. 3 2 floaty boy. 3 2 lifelinker for four. Uh, exile a creature and controls. That player reveals cards from the top of the library until a creature card is revealed. You're like, oh, I hope you don't get a better guy. And then if you did, you're like, well, I hope you didn't get a better guy. And then you do it again. Probably just taking the floater. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Collateral damage. Hmm. hmm. Lotus Path Gin. Or Mistfire Adept. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, give float. Hmm. Both four drops. One is an uncommon. It can give float to things like Phyrexian Juggernaut. I think that's where I'm... I think that's where I'm sold. Counter a spell. That spell's controller reveals their hand and then discards each card with the same name. That is... The name is a card spliced onto that... Wait, what? Oh my god. That is the most narrow shit I've ever seen. So, I counter your spell, and then you reveal your hand and discard each card with the same name as the card spliced on to that spell. Huh. 2 3 flyer with, like, basically untouchable? Not bad. Could just take the grasp. I'll actually take the two drop. <clears throat> I don't hate it. Oh, I kind of like I like sift a lot here, but I also like prophetic prism just because it fixes our mana and it's a nice little card drawing card. If we had that Esperzo, we could have actually had a little. It's your favorite. Curious, your favorite card ever, man. Ever. I think it's God. It's got to be prism. We don't actually do. We, how much card drawing do we have? Not much, right? I'm gonna take the sift. Ugh, I don't feel good about it. Counter spells, control loses target creature spell. <laughs> Flying vigilant one two. Okay, well, what if we just Phyrexia on life? Hmm. Being the first card you played with makes total sense. I'm gonna. I think we're gonna Phyrexia on life. Why wouldn't you? Trying to convince Frank to come up on the weekend of September 8th and 9th for Epic BB. Uh, because I'm not sure if I'm even free. It's so soon now. I don't know. I think I dropped the ball here. No woman, no cry. I wonder if you're changing the, your self podcasting with something along the lines of speaking frankly. Sorry if this is. Why would I consider that? I mean, you have to give me a reason. You can't be like, oh, I'd like you to change the name of this thing that you do to something else. I also don't know why that would have been discussed before. That's a very. Uh... <clears throat> well, this is going to counter nothing. Hmm. None of these cards are very good. Uh, you retracted your invitation to your 30th birthday party, so... Suck on them eggs. Coral Barry seems great. Oh, that's cool. That goes well with our floaty boys. Oh, a 6-5 defender. That's cool. I mean, you could attack with it. Haste and Menace? Actually, that's not terrible. Uh, wow, Lotus Patch Gen came back? 
Lotus Pathogen? <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Leftover invitations. What a time to be alive. <clears throat> fierce, em <clears throat> fierce, fierce empath. Well, that was nice. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, move them here. All right, that's better. Planar cleansing. Oh, Shiv's embrace is busted. Give a dude float and fire breathing. Yikes. Got a sick little doom blade here. And there's nothing else even in this pack really, so that's cool. We are pretty heavy blue, red, and white, three color. And it's also like all the cards you want are like four drop, four drop, four drop. Thankfully, our blue cards, actually we're not that heavy blue, right? We're splashing up three cards. <clears throat> I mean, obviously planar cleansing is very, very good, but I don't know. I'm not thrilled about having another another six drop when this card is just really, really good. Plus two, plus two, and flying is insane. It just wins you the game out of nowhere. Put on a Phyrexian Juggernaut. Yeah, we're just going to take this. Oh, I like a Field Mist Border post here. I also like a Wall of Denial. Wow, Wall of Denial is super obnoxious. Oh, man. Border Post is nice for the fixing, but I think it's Wall of Denial. Frank, we'll put you up in a penthouse apartment in the Upper West Side right near the park for the weekend. We'll show you the party of your life at this barbecue. <laughs> Plus, we'll arrange a sick popper cube draft. Oh, popper cube. Paper cube. Oh, that's, that's better. Maybe an organized appearance plus... No, don't do that. That last thing is a little much. I got humble roots. Alright, we're taking this. Dang it. Dang it. We can take Stony Brook Schoolmaster again, like we did last time. Burrington Bombardier. Bombardier. From the French. What do you do? And there's Battlefield plus one for each other. Kith can you control? That's, and that's all, that's that's where I'm done. Uh, this guy's actually great. Reinforces like a combat trick. Well, it is, it is essentially a combat trick, so. All right, this is our deck so far, unless something changes. Something's gonna change, I bet. Oh man, Tower Gargoyle is good. Mm, I don't care about any of these cards, really. I kinda like a Krasen, a Krasen Squire? <clears throat> a Raisin Squire? Tower Gargoyle is gas, but we're not going to be playing a black card in our deck. Oh, Azorius Cluestone. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. Whenever a creature control attacks, put a 1 1 counter on it. That's really strong. That's really strong. What in the fridge? That's busted. Is that busted? Busting, 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 busting. All right, forget the signing, but just think about essentially a free vacation. All I have to do is find a way to get up here. You can even bring your laptop and do a special live from New York stream in the apartment. Think of how sick that would be. It's just <laughs> sweeps week. <you> may... <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a real thing. It's six mana, but like then you play it on six and you attack with all your guys. Oh, I'm gonna take this. Maybe it'll come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, maybe it comes back. I don't know. Foil ball lightning. My God, what a time to be alive. I gotta cut a card for this clue stone, huh? 
Shipwreck Mori is a good blocker. Do we need a good blocker? Ball Lightning is dope. Yeah, but I don't know if it's dope for us. So, I don't know if we're going. I don't know if we're Ball Lightninging here. I kind of like Safe Passage, though. That could keep us alive. Oh, Fire Fist Adept? How many wizards do we have? You're a monk. You're a monk. You're a fish. You're a cat knight. Human sol soldier. A wall. A Kirin. Kithkin soldier. Spirit. Core monk. I got a monks. I got monks on deck. And human soldiers on deck, but I don't have any wizards. You're still probably the best pick, to be fair. Even if you just come in and shock something. How long am I shooting for? Um, I don't know. Until I'm dead. That's my life now. Draw three cards and discard two cards. That's pretty good if we have Threshold. Ghostly Wings might actually be better than Shiv's Embrace in our deck. 2-2 two, two and Flying, this is 1-1 one, one and Flying, but it also can save it. Yeah, let's take this. It makes our mana easier, and we can take out the Shiv's Embrace, which is nice. Oh, this pack is hot garbage. <laughs> Ten ex extremely varied bits. Alright, what are we going to take? Uh, Big Fat Sliver, I guess? I don't know. Oh, Plane Cycling and Island Cycling? Alright, you're not terrible. You do a thing. Alright, 1-1 one, one floater. Sure. We got two cuts to make here? Hmm. Hmm. It might be a Charm. It's not removal. Well, it actually, it is kind of removal. Actually, it kind of is. Maybe Phyrexian Unlife is too cute. Yeah, it probably is. Dang, I don't want it to be too cute. I just wanted to play it. Ten varied bits. I didn't know what to. I didn't know what to say there. I got. I got caught off guard. Oh, the gleam did come back. Unlife not too cute. Unlife will get people. Do you see how uncute that? <laughs> oh man. Maybe that's true. You are cordially invited to my thirtieth birthday party. Bits. Nice. I like it. I like it. All right, we have to make two cuts now. I think this is one of them. I'm only playing this because we have Phyrexian Juggernaut. Maybe that's not good enough. Do we have anything else that gives that guy evasion? I don't think so. No, we don't. Because realistically, like the only cards we can put that on for value are these two, I think. Maybe more. That's Amore! And this idiot. These are the only cards that don't have float naturally anyway. Yeah, we're just gonna... We're gonna cut the ghostly wings. Shut up and take my money. One, breaking up the horrible monotony of existence, Buck. <laughs> oh, glad I could help, Kerwick. Glad I could help, buddy. Maybe it's Sanctum Plow Beast. Yeah, I don't care about you. We got a Guild Gate and a Clue Stone, so. So this is 789 with the Clue Stone. This is 567 with the Clue Stone. So this is 974. I actually like 4. Oh, did I keep the Gleam of Battle? Yeah, I actually. I want to try Gleam of Battle. That seems like a good time. Oh, we only have 13 creatures now, though. Oh, this guy wasn't a, a creature anyway, so. Yeah, that's fine. Especially because Equinaut's not really a creature. I mean, it's not really a six drop, rather. It's definitely a creature. We can also tap our Wall of Denial for it. All right, I don't know if this deck is great, but it looks like it's it's got it looks like it's okay. I don't know if it's great, but it looks okay. What's up with your Merchless Merch Store? It's not good. It's not looking good. Bustin' makes me feel good. This hand seems just fine. I'll keep it. Is 
So I had some images saved on the desktop that I'm trying to figure out uh, which one I want to use for a mic, for a mic t-shirt. I also have to figure out how to... <laughs> oh, man. Well, I think you're actually just using any, 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 uh, any, uh, what are they called? Any emoji that, like, is, is accessible, is readily accessible. No plays. I think we're probably gonna go Coral Barrier. I hope they play an island here. Ten more different biddies. Well, the island walk is not gonna be relevant, but, uh, this guy attacks every combat. Yeah, we're just gonna play. Next time we can play Cluestone and keep up mana leak so that's nice and then the turn after that if we hit a land we can play phyrexian yuger yuger as they say in the german we can also double block give her a squid i don't think i don't know i don't know much how much work our squid's gonna be doing i have a pump spell yeah put that little squiddy in front Seems good. Wow, and you inflame that guy. That is aggressive. Each creature with toughness greater than its power can't block this turn. And I feel like now I just play a guy. I saw the store and was ready. Where, where did you see the store? I didn't even know it was set up. It's not like in my Twitch profile or anything. Kerwit, where are you looking, buddy? Alright, I like it. Oh, do I just keep playing guys here? Man. <laughs> Ten lull bits. Ten lull bits. Apparently I do have a store. Apparently I didn't know that it was up and... Uh, I'm actually going to play this because we can actually keep up mana leak and then we can just, we have good blocks here. Not for this guy, of course, but. Yeah, we're not going to get in there for three so they can get in there for four. That doesn't seem good. Plus, I want to be able to resolve this Phyrexian Juggernaut. Unfortunately, if they block with this, it's problematic, but. Also, if we draw a red land, we can play Skyhunter Patrol and keep up Is It Charm next turn. Well, not blocking that guy. Well, we didn't draw red land. Hmm. Let us get in there. And we'll just play... We're going to play Skyrunner Patrol here. I don't want to fall behind on the board anymore. Sign my... Ten sign my blood moon bits. I don't know if we're going to do that, but... You know what? I'll sign your blood moon. Well, they hit a fifth land, which they seem to have needed to play their Berserkers of Blood Ridge. Mountain. We are not good at this game. I guess we can double block here, and then they just kill one. That seems actually fine. And then we still have 3-2 flyer. How much to flip? 3 to flip? Two to flip. Oh, if we don't have to, yeah, that's great. If we don't get to count anything, if then if we don't have to counter anything, then we can just flip this gentleman. Ba -da -ba. Act of treason. Untap it against haste. So it's literally just act of treason. Flip this gentleman bits. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so what are we doing here? We can counter this, but it doesn't seem exciting. If we do, this guy gets buffed. We can also just flip you. But you don't block profitably anywhere. I guess we can double block here, but then we take like six. 
think this is actually fine. You can have that. I'm not going to waste it on active treason. I'll take two more damage. Mm-hmm. Let's take out your fat gentleman. Oh, that's don't don't weight shame that berserkers of blood ridge. Sure. That's totally fine. Five drop for four drop. Good deal. Someone give me some bits so I can give Frank some remember when you got gut shot bits. Wow. Too soon, Matthew. Ori. Too soon. What is going on? They have two cards? I don't care about that. So if we turn it up. Shut up and take my if we turn it up, it dies, right? Because the Megamorph is a trigger. Does Megamorph trigger? Is this going to be a 2-1 at any point with a counter on it? Oh my god, you guys are ridiculous right now. This is amazing. Um... How Megamorph works. Does Megamorph... Uh, let's find out. Hold on. You can show everyone what the card is. Did that cost them pay a turn to face up? This is a special action, so it doesn't use the snack. Happens immediately and can't be responded to. Is that part of Megamorph is putting 1-1 counter on it as it flips. If you have something like Hardened Scales, the counter can't be responded to either. By the time your opponent can respond to the flip, it'll be a 3-3. Finally, if that is when the card names. Okay, I think it's good. Morph doesn't use the... Yeah, all right. Come on. Oh, thank goodness. All right. I just wanted to make sure Megamorph was... Oh, my God. That's so good. We're so good at this game. We are unbelievable at Magic the Gathering. Man, if only they, they should have kept their... Should have saved their active trees in here. 500 staying alive bits. That's all I've ever wanted. Both six drops are live now. This guy has Vigilance? Wow. So much better than I anticipated. We're going to play this, then we can Izzet Charm this guy to get out of the way, because they're probably not attacking it when, when you see a Phyrexian, Phyrexian Yugurnaut on the other side of the board. Ten punny bits to keep the bitty... I can't even handle... I can't even... I can't even, uh, I meant for me, but you two, oh, my bad, my bad, I didn't mean to, uh, impose my own staying alive on your, uh, when it leaves the battlefield, okay, so you're just evoking that for a green dude, you got it, for a green boy, well, that would have been nice, no, it wouldn't have, if we, if we were tapped out, we already have mana leak, um, so you're probably you could triple block this guy if you double block though we can just kill I think we're doing that for obvious reasons I think we can actually be a little more aggressive here with our hand today is the 100th anniversary of chicken Sunday wow Every day is Chicken Sunday. All right, well. Are we dead? <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got a blocker. And you only have ten power, so if you overrun here, I guess we're just going to counter that. What are your feelings on donuts? They're good. I enjoy a good donut. I like a donut that's... I like a moist donut rather than a dry donut. I'm just going to block here. Take this guy out. I'll take eight. I mean, I don't see how you win here because we have double counter spell in hand. Triple counter spell in hand. Um, mana leak. Okay, that'll, that'll do it. You got a little over eager with your attacks, I think, but, you know. What can you do? 
Every day is Chicken Sunday. Just kidding, I don't know if it's the 100th anniversary, it just sounded... I don't know if it's the 100th anniversary. Hey man, I was just kidding, I don't know if... Look, I don't know if it's the 100th anniversary. What do I look like, some kind of chicken sundayologist? I don't know. Wow. Mentadent, that's amazing, dude. <laughs> Spazio, good seeing you, buddy. You're like, just kidding, it's me, Spazio. Ha <laughs> ha, I had you all fooled. That's actually pretty funny. Ten, we just won bits, and uh, just ten bits. All right. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. I think we're just submitting. I don't really see anything that we really... I wonder if they can beat a Phyrexian on life or a safe passage. Where's my Where's my pizza? That's my question. That cat is really loud. Like, aggressively loud. Frank on mute, but I'm still watching bits. Nice. Oh, this hand's good. We're on the draw, though. It's less good on the draw, but it's still fine. Oh, I actually couldn't tell you where my sidekick is. I don't actually live his life for him. And I assume you mean my friend, Mike. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, he's got his own life. He has a job, and, uh... God, he's so loud, isn't he? He's so loud. Oh man, riding this curve. Riding the curve train today. Oh my god. Was there Morrissey bashing? I thought I was just singing Morrissey. I didn't think I was actually... Yeah, Morrissey's kind of a dirt burgle. We're just going to play this. The Kaijin of the Bad Touch. Ten, why did Mike Kitten cross the road? Because it's Chicken Sunday. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just trying to live in Undrim Tuna bit. Okay, well. I wish you luck. What do I play for next week's modern PBTQ? You gonna kill this? I'm gonna laugh if you kill it. Boop! Your little gentleman left. This is nice because if what the hell? that was amazing. All right. Well, if I just go up the ground with a bunch of All right, we'll do it again. Do it again. Do do it again. Keep on bouncing, this gentleman. Oh, he has to attack each turn. I'm like, why do they keep attacking into this? Oh, I figured it out because they have no choice. Never mind. Oh, uh, I think we're gonna wait a turn. Like they're gonna have five mana, which is where the big threats keep coming down. And next turn, we can actually keep mana leak and play Banalish Veteran. Nope, got to do it. All right. Come on, buddy. See you later. Bye. Yeah, see, that's the kind of that's the kind of guy you want to mana leak. Or rewind. And then we get to untap all our lands, sweetie pie. Oh my god, seriously, stop being this loud. Hmm. 
<clears throat> One, two, three. Gentlemen for me. That sounds like it means something else. Your cat is turning on my cat. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Oh, yeah, we're just countering all your big idiots. Ten, that kitty is so loud, but cute bits. Yeah, he's a cutie, but boy, does he have a throaty, throaty life. Shut up and take my money. Please stop killing. I'm not even touching my cat. You're literally watching me this whole time. Now we need that red land again for this hand. Wait, why rewind? You were going to untap for your turn anyway? Uh, because we wanted to keep up mana leak so we can counter this. If we play this guy and have rewind still in our hand, then we don't get to do that. So, Muppet Pastor, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I will throw this guy away for a 1-1 because it's only going to get worse from here. Jenny, I want to call you Jenny. Your name is very misleading. Should I call you Jenny instead? Is that better? What's what's preferred? It's like if I if my username was like Steve, and you'd be like, because it's just a name. That's just a regular name. Your cat is now confusing my cat as well. She can't figure out where her pal. Where's that coming from? Oh, that's sad. That's very sad that you would do that to me. I thought we had an agreement. Turns out no agreement was had. Yep, that's a big dude. All right, so they just—they're just playing mono big green bread dudes. Oh, we're so good at this game. Five donation train bugs. All right, seems good. Seems good. Josh, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. you. Mean like how your username is Frank? Yes, that's correct. But so then you only have to call me one thing. All right. Your name is one hundred percent Sarah. You liar. We can actually kill this guy with this, which is super nice. It's very, very nice. <laughs> Ten Steve bits. That's good. I accept. I don't wish I had a. I wish I had a flying creature. I guess it was not. Uh... Meant to be. Another Molten Birth. Shut up and take my money. I guess it's the same Molten Birth, right? Come on, lose the flip. They won the flip again. Just mono Molten Births here. For the love of God, please leave the cat. I'm not even mess. I'm, I'm literally right here. You guys can see me. Oh, no attack with that Street Breaker Worm, huh? Okay. Tattermunge Witch. Each block creature gets plus one plus oh and trample. I kind of want to kill that, I'll be honest. I also kind of want to draw two and discard two. We can probably take a hit. Hmm. Well, that is sad. <sighs> what do you do when you want all the things? I kind of want to keep Hinder. I think it's just Glacial Ray. That is not terrible. I think we're just casting this guy because we already have. I have one cat, and you you can pet him if you'd like. I don't I don't think he'd have a problem with that, but he does have his own agency, so you'd have to ask him. If I can have three cats to live in my backyard, that you can pet as much as you want. Spoiler: if they're all named. <laughs> I remember you telling me that. I feel like you told me that. Ten, my name is pronounced Alana Bits. Okay, well that's I know, but okay. 
Okay. <laughs> oh boy, we're having a good time. Did they win the flip again? Okay, well, this is just infinite molten... Molten McBoltons. Molten John Boltons. I could have countered that, but it just didn't seem worth it. We got him on the six turn clock anyway. That was a good draw. Get in there. No, the question was whether no, because like your name is Jenny. Like your 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 username is Jenny. And then I was like, oh Jenny, thank you so much for the sub, but then I'm like, wait, that's not your name though. So it was very awkward. And I was like, oh man, should I call you Jenny like your username or should I call you your real name? And it was very awkward. I had an awkward moment. Man, Lone Missionary is OP. I'm waiting for the overrun, and then we can hinder them. Elk Tears, when you watch the stream, where do you watch it from? I'm always curious about that. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Yeah, this is fine. Chumpy Wumpy. <laughs> this is awkward, but see, there you go. Now you get it. Got him. Here we go. Oh, that's fine. Can you lose the flip one time? No. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just going to assume my life is going to end through the beauty of molten molten birth. A very good card when it ha when they have a Tattermunch Witch in play. Ten luck of the draw bits. Well, we're waiting for... More like luck of the flip, am I right? So don't they just give their guys... Well, actually, we just don't block them, I guess. I'm probably just gonna... Oh, they actually can't play Molten Rebirth here if they do this, which is just fine. I assume you do it one more time. Yep. So we do get rid of one, which is nice. Whatever this is, I'm hindering it. Yeah, I just... I don't want to be too far behind right now. Uh, would you like to put the card on the top of its owner's library? No. It's actually pretty good. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a duck blur. They just go to three here? Why can't I deal this to, a, to their face? It varies most of the time in my home office, sometimes on set, on my phone during downtime, and more recently at a post office we work out of. Also, when I said post office, I meant post-production office, not the place. <laughs> I was like, wow, working out of the post office, huh? Really getting them uh, high-quality high directing gigs there. Also, for me, like I never watch Twitch on my phone, because it feels like it's kind of... I don't know, it feels weird. Like, I get a kind of claustrophobic feel. So, like, whenever, whenever, like, whenever someone watches me on Twitch while they're like, I just have my phone, so I'm watching on Twitch, I'm like, that's a cool feeling because, like, that feels like it's not the most ideal venue for, for watching. Steve, 10 duck bits. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. They're at three? I don't even know what's going on here. Twitch on the phone is weird because it's so hard to... Right. 
Yet the bits keep flowing. Yes, let the bits flow through you. Did I just take five here? Actually, we're probably going to blast fire this guy. And then block one. And if you have a pump spell that could have saved him, I assumed you would have attacked. Hmm. Hmm. Duck blur. So we know one of your cards is molten, molten, molten birth. Oh yeah, you're welcome. And now get your house to New York and thank me in person for the sacrifices. Look at these dirtily. Oh, I forgot they had this guy. All right. Well. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Almost out of bits, bits. Josh, thank you so much. I give you the thumbs up silently because, uh, oh boy. If we want to play Wall of Denial here. Oh, we only have to discard one card, not two. Yeah, all right, cool. 20 actually come to my birthday. <laughs> okay, I'm not kidding. You really need to come to my birthday party. I'm not muted at the moment, but it will be again soon. Oh my god, this is an emotional roller coaster. I can't deal with this. See, about to switch to the phone to get food is awesome because I'm like, man, I like that you're enjoying the content so much that you're like, I'm going to switch to my phone to just to make sure I have you on the go. That's important. I am going to win this match. And then we're going to go to the next game because our deck seems good so long as we can draw that one pivotal mountain. How much would it cost for you and Mike to play Commander Gamer 2 together against someone with whatever deck you and Mike come up with? Wait, what does that mean? Hold on. Me and Mike to play Commander Gamer 2 together against someone with whatever... Okay, so what if we played it, like, online? Like, on Magic Online? Like, me and Mike would have a Commander deck and we'd play it against someone else? Oh, uh, this hand's actually good, because white is heavily represented. Also, Magic's not the easiest game to be conducive online. Uh, we could probably do... Would it be like... Would it have to be 1v1 commander? Because 1v1 is easier, obviously. Oh, that was a good... We're not going to keep up Is It Charm because I doubt they're going to play a non-creature spell. Here we go. Oh, wow. Flash, flashy Sliver. Okay. Oh, no. All right. You got it. That was sad. What a what a perfect what a perfect world they're living in. Ten, we got Cluestone is fixing bits, and it worked out well because we drew another mountain. We're good. We're good. I usually watch your work doing a certain amount of downtime. I'm okay with all these situations. You you work watchers keep me going. You keep me alive. They didn't play their other. Oh, they they has flash. So you know, like you do. Uh, Death Touch is obnoxious, but we can play, you can keep up Burning Oil and Is It Charm here. It seems fine. They have seven cards that are just missing land drops. Actually, they're one ones. Maybe we should just play Mist of Karen. I like playing both of these on five instead because it gives us more options. Like we can keep both of these up and play these. So. Kill Venom Sliver Race cars, lasers, slivers dead. It's a sliver. I saw a sliver. Hurry, right, slivers, slivers. A woo! We'll just play this guy. He's a 3 3 on the attack.
11, how we doing, Bits? I mean, oh, that was a good draw. Well, Biscuits. That is something. A land here would be great, because then we can play Mist of Karen and keep up Is It Charm. However, there's no way I'm letting you get a hit with that. If I can avoid it. Well, maybe not. Ten Biscuit Bits. I have no idea what's even happening. You guys have gone off the rails here. Oh my god. You're not even, not even going to equip, huh? Okay. I accept. Then I have a Hinder. Sure. We are 1-0 right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whenever you cast a spell, you put two counters on it. When it attacks, it gains trample until an inference power to greater. Yeah, that's not. Put it on the top? No. I'm going to mess that up one of these times. Land, please. Thank you. You're the perfect land I've ever seen. Also, we have Burning Oil in the graveyard, which is super nice because it kills this guy. We can also, one, two, three, four, we only have five, so we're actually going to play you face down. How did he cast that? Manamorphose. Why would... Oh, maybe top was better, actually. I doubt they'll ever cast that again. That's actually a good point. Huh. That's amazing. I had not considered that. Nope, not doing that. Doing this. Oh. Are you guys ready? Oh, man. Oh, boy. We're living the dream. Woo. Woo. One, two, three, four. They have like a million mana, though. We have some tricks, though. It's okay. Oh, you're going to recumbent bliss on this guy. You gain a life? Okay. You going to deal with this guy, too? I got two more floaty float, boys. Regenerate it? All right. That's fine. Make it a 5-5. Five, five. 10, we just gleamed the fuck out of the, this battle, bits. <laughs> man, this card is OP. Just take 5 here? Oh, man, aggressive. I don't actually even think we play anything here, because it can't block, so they're going to get back a guy, and they're going to gain 3. I want to keep up Burning Oil. I think they might forget about that. Plus this Banalish Veteran's doing good work by itself. You got it. So they can equip this guy and then actually equip this guy. Oh, they're just going to equip that guy. And play this guy. So if we just play a flyer, we win the game. Well, I guess not because they have a way to... Yeah, we're not going to keep this up forever. So. Plus, it, it even if it hits this guy, it doesn't actually save it. That's 
That's actually nice. One, two, three. Coral Barrier gives us two dudes. And it's blue, so we can we can get some blocks in. And then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is lethal in the air. Did you get that PS4? Not yet, no. I'm still I'm still refreshing it pretty regularly. I'm also gonna just go to Best Buy the morning of and be like, do you guys have this? Because they, they're supposed to have a, uh, a specific number that go into the actual store itself. Like a bunch of, uh, they have to have a certain number that go on the shelf, so. All right, I got four in the air. Yep, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Target creature, yep, all right, so you're dead. Ten, I still hear the cat bits, don't we all? Don't we all? Oh, and we got it. All right, so you have quite a few artifacts. I don't know if we have any way to deal with it. Maybe we should have taken the Tarashi's Grasp. That sword is pretty bonkers. Kind of wishing we took that. <laughs> you didn't have a chance to take that. Uh, yeah, I think we're just good like this. I don't think we have a choice, really. This is what happens when a helmet rises out of the sea, sucking up a bunch of spaghetti. I can see safe passage just because it uh prevents the damage, but. Shut up and take my money. Uh, any thoughts on the commander step? I asked. I I thought I. I mean, we were chatting about it. One ten bits buck. One one hundred bits buck. Okay, that's that's all right. That's all right. Um, I mean, I like the idea of it. I'd have to make sure I co coordinate with Mike, and I'd also probably want to give him some of the profits if we're playing together and whatnot. So. It's 826. Why am I this tired? Oh, that's how being old feels. Welcome to being 30. I'll keep this hand. <laughs> DuckTales. Woo! -hoo. Oh, they went to six? Good deal. Yes, this hand is amazing. Amazing. I'm actually going to run this out because we have burning oil. But we're not even going to play burning oil. We're just going to play... Kaijin. If you want to do commander streams on weekends, I volunteer to assist one of your opponents. But the problem with doing it on weekends is Mike can't do it on weekends. Mike stays off for Tuesday and Wednesday, so... Oh, they're just gonna they're just gonna hard cast a Nephilim next turn, I bet. We can't counter that, so we're just gonna play this. It's the only thing we can do. It's all I can do. You got it. Flashy sliver. What a flashy sliver. Shimmering grotto. Really? Do you have it again? You know what? I'll keep this guy around. I'll take one. And if you have it. We can just kill whatever you're attacking with next turn. People think they hate trauma because it's miserable to play against, but when... Right, but the problem is, like, my enjoyment of, of a game like that uh, should not strip away the entirety of your enjoyment, right? Like, Magic is a game that both people should be enjoying. And I think if I'm having all the fun, it's not really balanced. I don't actually like Lotus Path Gen here because like if they draw a land they can just they don't actually need to draw a land, they can just search for one. I'm just gonna pass here. We have way too much stuff to By by how do I storm them? Do you mean how do I store them? Doomsday, hit me up in email. Just email me so that I know what we're 
what we're talking about. Because having this conversation during, like, having this discussion like this, this negotiation during stream is, is pretty, it's not, it's not ideal. So shoot me an email. You should find the link in the Twitch description below. Um, we'll block. No? You want me, to, want me to be in the block step? All right. Whatever you want to do, man. We'll block. Let that resolve. And then I'll burn this dude. And then we can counter their next dude. 10 daddy bits. Oh, that sounds like, uh, what does that even, what does that even mean? Yep, bounce your guy. Seems good. Mm -hmm. So you got a red. Oh, look, you did have the little death toucher. Yeah, I don't care about that guy. I have one card in hand. Maybe I do care about that guy. God, I really wish for a land there. No, we have burning oil. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep passing. Like, once we hit a land, we can keep a Lotus Path Chin and Mana Leak. And we have three counter spells. They have two cards in hand right now, so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. It's really weird that people call Kevin that. Like, it's very uncomfortable. Hmm. I think we just take one here. I don't think I care about this. I'd rather make sure you don't like windmill slam a Nephilim after this and give it pro white, pro black, and Alright. Well. One land would be great here. He's being real loud. It's actually getting on my nerves, I'm gonna be honest with you. We just have no incentive to kill this guy right now. Because if we wait, we get to keep a whole lot of counter spells, which is nice. Ugh, crying out loud. Less four drops, more actual friggin' lands, please. Also, I don't know why they're not equipping this. Like, what's your incentive to not equip here? He insisted you call him. That's fucking weird, man. I'm sorry. That's super weird. <laughs> That's almost like creepy weird. And I don't know Kevin personally. Like, Kevin's one of the few guys I don't actually know personally in this community. So, you know. All right, we did it. But boy, our mana leak is looking worse now, isn't it? Yeah, we're just gonna play this guy. I mean, at worst, like we can trade and like we get a guy off the board and we get to keep mana like one, two, three, four. Mana like is rough here, but what can you do? No, oh, they didn't actually crack their travelers' amulet yet. I don't know what's going on. This match is weird. They have three cards. I'm 100% blocking here because it gets a dude off the board. That mana lake, though, is right. Oh, man. That cat is really something else. Bird. Yep, that is fine. Yep. It's awkward. Let's 
So we're going to pass here. We're going to keep up all the counter spells. Let's win this is my goal. That is the goal. We're, this is game two, right? We crushed him game one, right? So we're currently 3-0 in games. Mm-hmm. Why don't we ever get a cat stream? I don't even know what a cat stream would be. Is that just like me following the cat around? He's going to get sprayed in the face in a second. He's going to get some water in the old faccio. See you later. Bye. Boop. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, no second creature, huh? All right. Oh, uh, luck it. So, we're just going to keep playing lands here. One, two, three, four. This guy. And we got a cock on the board. All right. They have four cards in hand. It's a good amount. Now they have five. Soon. 30 on 30, 30, 30 in three weeks bits. That is a... Uh, and it's quite the age, actually. I remember when I turned 30. It feels like 400 years ago. It was 400 years ago. Coral barrier? This actually seems terrible. Because they get a 1-1 island walker, which they can just equip with a sword. Yeah, we're definitely countering this, and it feels so bad. Feels bad, man. Put it on the top? No. This time we're going to correctly put it on the bottom. Alright, that's fine. That's all I can do. It's a game on. Yep, always yield to that. <laughs> Frank said he remembers turning 30 and it was 400 years ago 420 what no dude what's the matter with you well this is a good time I'm having fun with my actually <laughs> this guy's actually pretty good with an island uh Oh, that's not going to do it. We're going to have to do one of these jobbies and then these two jobbies. And we still have Burning Oil in the graveyard, which is nice. But it only works on 1-1s one when they're equipped. And this guy does not block after the sword is on there, so... You know. 4, 5, 6. We can keep up 2, which is great for Manalik, although I'm not sure Manalik is good for us here. Oh, wow. I spoke too soon. Lady, put that thing in the graveyard. Mana leak. Oh, oh, it's the best removal spell we could have ever seen. Oh boy, oh boy, we're going, we're we're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, a Blast Fire Bolt is pretty unbeatable right now. One, two, three, four, five. We'll actually have six mana after we crack this, so. Perfect. Perfect! Always yield to that beautiful, beautiful... We're going the squid stints. We're going for ink. He's all alone, all alone. With all his legs. <laughs> 4-4 four, four, Island Walk Squid coming at you. Feels good. Wow, this is unbelievable. What a time to be alive. I'm a big octopus fan myself.
Uh, we're probably not going to blow up the first thing he plays. We're going to blow up the first thing he equips. Uh, because this kills the equipment as well, which is the important part. What about monkeys and hummingbirds? I mean, they're fine people as well. Fine people on both sides of the, the animal argument. Wow, this dude is going the distance. All right. I mean, I can't I can't stop that, so. Three. Yeah. It's all I can do. Keep on waiting for you. Flip it. Flip it and rip it. That's a good one too. This is eight damage. Woof. Gleam of battle. Overperforming. Destroy a creature with power four or greater. Eh. What the can you do? I'm going to wait till I have one more land to is it charm. We made a mistake last time and uh Gleam of Battle doomed us. Yeah, that's pretty good. I still want pizza bits. Alana, you can go get some pizza. That is an option. They do offer that. Alright, so a two turn clock. We're gonna pass here. We're gonna keep Izzet Charm in case they have like a Bane Fire for a million. That's. I don't know why they'd have that, but. Well, that's incredible. It had to be a 3-6, so that when they equip it, it's a million. Actually, what we can do is... Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If we play another land, we can Burning Oil and Blast Firebolt. I guess we could have Izzet Charmed and Blast Firebolted, but I don't know how long this game is going to go. Oh, it would have ended there if you did that, you dummy. Oh, that's not going to work. We're going to use this one instead. Oh, it destroys the equipment, actually, so that's pretty gas. Oh, that's insane, actually. Never mind. That is busted. Busted makes me feel good. This is a 6-5, and they have one card, so I presume this is going to resolve. Bustin, 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 bustin. Regenerate. All right, that's fine. What does it regenerate? One for one? For one green? All right, you got it. Well, kill the enchantment. Destroy the child. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> I'll regenerate it again. Yeah, two regeneration shields is more than I can handle, but, you know, we're going to sift here. 
fill the old hand, and we got rid of the sword, which is super relevant. This guy's huge. If only we can attack with this guy. That would be great. Oh. Well. Here we go. Uh, so we attack and it's a 7-6, so they can't block it, which means we still have incentive to attack and get the counter. And we can just play both of these, and if they have like a Wrath of God or something ridiculous, then so be it. All right, two sizable threats. David Bowie or Freddie Mercury? Uh, probably David Bowie based on catalog. Although I do love Freddie Mercury a lot. Tend to throw the child bits. <laughs> oh man. This game, I think this game is over, but they do have a draw, so. Oh, there you go. Just keep them flyers coming, I guess. Yeah, we have three dudes, they have two dudes. So one of these is getting through, presumably. And we have a burning oil still, which is good times. Joy Division or New Order? Oh, that's, I don't, that's hard, that's hard. Because they're basically the same band. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. I don't want to throw away Conclave Equinaut here. We have five cards left in our library. Yikes. How did we get that low? All right, next turn we're probably going to play Equinaut because I don't want to be... They're going to be like, compulsive research you, and then we're just going to die to some really ridiculous means. And this guy does kill them on its own. Chain creature can't attack. When it's put in the graveyard, return it to its owner's hand. That's actually very good. Can still block though? Sure. Man, Tarashi's Grasp. That would be a hell of a card in this matchup. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are two lands in that of our four cards. Good to know. Alright, let's see if you do two removal spells as your last two cards. No, I guess you actually get a turn because of the Phyrexian Juggernaut. Well, dang it. Well, I'm not going to take any more chances. Thirty two removal bits. <laughs> <laughs> and they did not have it, and we are 4-0. This deck is apparently pretty good. Who knew? Bustin', bustin', bustin'. play first <laughs> all right we're gonna keep this hand if we can hit lands we're good but misty of karen we can cast either way so i 
Got him. I think we just keep up Hinder here. <laughs> yeah, my stir cons is always out of date, unfortunately. Uh, I got an offer on a comic book I'm selling on eBay. That's what that was that was what I was looking at. As a new person matching online, what does that mean? It just means that there's a bug. It's literally just a bug. It means nothing. It's actually... I don't think we're going to play anything here. I just want to... I have two counter spells. Like, it seems stupid to play something here. Sure. Discard your best stuff. Oh, dang it. I'm going to be out after this match is over, bits. Good, nice warning. Nice warning. All right. Because next turn we can actually play this guy face down and still keep Counterspell up, which is nice. But now we have double Counterspell. That's pretty cool. They didn't flash this back, which is interesting. Nothing again, huh? All right, well, that's what we're looking for. Actually, I guess we can keep the white up, huh? One, two, three. Yeah, because if they don't do anything, we want to be able to flip this boy. Just flip it. Flip it. Do what you can. They're going to kill this thing. They're going to give it negative three, negative three somehow. Three, three, negative three toughness incoming. Oh, do they target us? Dang. I mean, you're going to nine cards. I really don't care if you draw two more. Like, that's fine. Our hand is pretty good. If we hit another land, we can Lotus Pathogen. What is your eBay name? My, I can just link you guys to my... Ten inspiration bits, which is funny because it's not, it's not inspiration for me per se. What if I get rid of this? Will that be the good link? Coercion. Um, like this has got to be the one of the worst cards they could take, so we'll just play that. I will likely be doing another draft after this, I think. Get in there. 10 support bits for Josh. Oh, My D&D group is fighting some kind of dragon and we're level 3 and I'm scared and I need some emotional support bits. Wow, that's I appreciate you giving me the bits when you need the emotional support. That's nice. That's quality. I did say Lotus Pathogen. That's actually the joke. That's that's the joke. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, I'm not going to stop that. I got bigger fish to fry with my counter spells. 
All right. Unfortunately, we can't play this guy and keep anything up, so we're just going to play him anyway. And I hope that's good enough. Ten quality bits. Ten more quality bits? This is this is getting out of hand. I almost feel like Alana just actually f discovered bits tonight, and she's like, this is amazing. Come on. Always hit your best card. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Wait. Oh, I think that's what they discarded, so they just discarded it. But they decided to cutely play it as madness and then just put it in the graveyard because they didn't have the mana for that. Doing your upkeep if no spells. Yeah, this guy just becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, that's fine. It's not fine, but it is. I I think it's... I guess it's actually pretty bad. Alright, we got a spell now. So we're alright. Get in there. I'm on the gingerly leaderboards bit. Leaderboard bits. <laughs> Well, someone has to be, so that's the important part. Did they just pass to make this guy a 5-5? Five five? Yikes. Well, that is a... that's a beefy boy. Alright, so we have... We have hinder, but we don't have two things. I guess we can hinder something. I'm going to keep attacking with this guy, just in case they have something like sacrifice an attacking creature. It doesn't really matter, but... We can also shoot their face for two, and then it deals like three more points, so they go to 11. We can also is it charm. I guess we can actually... Well, we can't burning oil and glacial, right? Because we don't have the mana for it. That's unfortunate. We can b double burning oil if we get the mana for it. What is this that's never resolving? Oh, I guess it is resolving. Hmm. Oh, it deals six damage to any target. That's pretty good. I guess we can't stop that. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep, not thrilled about Bane of Handwire, that's for sure. I will not be blocking this guy just yet. Well, I don't want to... Coral Barrier? Coral! That's a little, uh... That's a little Walking Dead meme. They have six cards in hand and and eight mana, nine mana, and they haven't played anything, so that's impressive. How's it gonna be when you don't know me anymore? Boy, they are really, uh... Uh, I don't want to burn their face yet because I feel like they're going to do something EOT. So if they do that, we can try to counter it and then flip. If they don't flip, yeah, this is what we're waiting for. Yep, so we're just going to rewind that gentleman. Uh, 
I'd assume you have a counter spell. That's nope. But your guy flips back, which is fine, so. Look at the top three cards of your library. You can put those cards on the bottom of your library in any order if you do return Petals of Insight to its owner's hand. Otherwise, draw three cards. Sure. I assume you just drew three cards. Yeah, he's getting on my nerves. I hate to say it, but he's really pushing it right now. Oh, what are we discarding here? That is the question. I want the land. I think. Yeah, we want the land. Should have actually kept the counter spell mana up instead of the white mana, but live and learn. I think Is it Charm might be one of the weaker cards. It's fun to give bits, bits. I think we we're supposed to attack there, but I got distracted because there's a lot going on, including Loud Cat. Lots of bits coming through. And a losing uh, board state. Yep, pass. These aren't even bits, Bug. <laughs> that is correct. They are not even bits. All right, here we go. Something busted. Lunk Arant. Whenever it attacks alone, it gets trampled. Sure, that's... Anybody got time for that? Lunk sat alone in a buggy marsh. Totally motionless except for his heart. Actually, Gleam is pretty good with this guy, right? Starts making it big again. I think we're going to Juggernaut here, but... Or we can actually keep up 4 and keep up Hinder and the other thing. Block here. The Cheese Knight, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back, anyway. Um, playing this post combat's not ideal, so we're not going to do that. It's either Juggernaut or, like, keep these three up for something. We also have Burning Oil, so we can Burning Oil for four and keep up Hinder. I'm clearly not doing anything. I'm literally right here. I don't know why you guys keep asking that. They have three cards in hand. They attack alone with this guy, and... Uh, we kind of just... Die? 
Why you know I'm right here? I don't understand what that means. Yeah, I'm just going to cast this guy. That seems better. We just have to dodge these three cards they have. We have a hinder for one of them. Fortune's favor. Okay. Return an instant sorcery from your graveyard. Uh, I'm going to give you this and this and this pile. Wait, did they go into the graveyard? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's so good, dude. Wow, that's insane. Your deck is great. Maybe I should have hindered this. Oh, God. But then they draw one of these two in the next four turns. So that's pretty bad. Like, you just take this hand and then you get a free Mystic Retrieval, right? If I give you this, then you get Mystic Retrieval and Ribbons. If I give you two lands, you're obviously going to take whatever the lands aren't because that's the worst possible scenario. So it's... Gotta be this split, unfortunately. You hundred take you hundred percent take ribbons. I don't know how to make them face up and face down. I actually didn't pay attention to that. Yep, all right, so they took the ribbons pile. Yeah, their deck is insane. This is a sorcery, so that's good. They can get countervailing winds back. That's bad. I think they just go Mystic Control for countervailing wins, and that's basically a hard counter for three. They also get coercion back. God, Mystic Retrieval's friggin' insane. It's lump, she's lump, she's lump, she's in my head. Yeah, Burning Oil Flashback is still an option. It's the preferred option against this Jawar Isle Avenger, but... Oh, that was cool. That was awesome. Man, they're really into, they're deep in the tank right now. They have seven cards in their deck. Can they win before we uh, before our seven cards happen? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, four, eight, nine, ten. They have exactly enough mana to rib they can ribbons of night, they can coercion, and they can mystic retrieval. Uh, I don't know how we'd be dead if they had resounding thunder. We go to three, but they can't cast it this turn. And if they target, um. Resounding Thunder, we can just counter the Mystic Retrieval. Hold on a second. I got hold on.
Okay, I just want to shut the door because it's really distracting me. It's kind of hard to play, so. We have five cards. We know what two of them are. Going to six is pretty bad when they have Resounding Thunder in the graveyard, so... Mr. Retrieval, what do they target? They did target the Resounding Thunder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually deal seven if we had. Return up to two creatures from your graveyard to your hand. Spire Monitor and Avenger. Fantastic. God, we're really doing well here. So they just go Avenger at the end of the turn. Yeah, don't really see how they can we can beat our their their mono two for ones deck. What's pull? What is pull? What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what that means. Proof of life? Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. They also have Ribbons of Night. Oh Christ. Their deck is insane. Their hand is like Ribbons, 3-3 three, three Flyer, 3-3 three, three Flyer, Resounding Thunder. It's pretty gross. I mean, we're going to have to keep this up for something. Probably a 3-3 three, three Flyer. Matthew Ori, nice, buddy. I'll take three. They're like, I don't care. Hmm. So we can't counter the other dude. Ribbons of Night, they kill... Some, that's, we're already going to counter this guy. Put it on the top. No, that would be sad. So now they have Ribbons. Thunder. Thunder! Th -th Thunder! What is the other card? Uh, Dwar. Alright, well... Like, we literally can't. We're basically at three life right now. Oh, God, he attacked alone. Crying out loud, man. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. This is this is too uphill. We're, all, we're just going to draw land, too. So it's... Shipwreck Mori doesn't really do much. Yeah, their deck is very good. I am not a fan.
Uh, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, their deck is insane. Listen, guys, it's not a Sturkonst problem. I can make it in date and whenever I want to. It's not a it's not a problem if I can if I can deal with it. Ten, I have to go to sleep because I'm exhausted, bits. Go get some sleep then. Ain't nobody Ain't nobody stopping that. Ten sleepy bits. Yeah, that was game one. Good times. Always good times. What are the odds this guy survives? 100% because they probably don't have anything that kills it on turn two. Oh, look at that little guy. Well, we didn't draw land, so we're kind of... Alana, have a good night, buddy. Thanks for the infinite bits. Wow. That's a flash dude, and you just main phase that dude. Main phase the flash dude. Lands would be cool, but apparently not cool enough. Thunder. Th -th Thunder. Now it's in my head. That's cool. Yep, that's pretty good. And I don't think I can play anything here, so that's unfortunate. Any vague tips on uh, take the best cards and build a deck around them? That's pretty much the best you can do. Like, you have no idea what you're opening, so... What does this dude do? It's a 1-5 weird memory cast and it's supposed to be a switch to power and toughness. Sure. If only I had a second blue source, that would be so cool. I would be all about that. Unfortunately, we drew four six drops. That's all of them. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this game, unfortunately. They still have five cards in hand. Nice. Alright, and that's about enough. That's where I draw the line with Bogarden friggin' Hellkite. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, check me out on Patreon or Twitch. Both of those things are in the link in the description below. I just recently posted a Frank Thoughts on uh, Patreon for my thoughts on the Alex Burton Cheney issue. So if you want to check that out, you can at patreon.com slash franklapore. It is under the $1 a month tier. So really, it's probably the lowest amount you could ever spend on content. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.